driving instructors had scrapped the lot. Bigger comics than Bernard Manning. Make a flaming cat laugh. And as for this Peter Baker fella that's been flanneling you, I bet I were driving when he, when he were pushing dinky cars round a carpet. Oh, I'm not saying you can't drive. I mean, you've been driving me potty for years. All I'm saying is you're not getting your hands on that Nova and that's blaming final. What happens when you fail your test, eh? But I shan't fail, shall I? Yeah, if they pass you, they pass rice pudding. <laughs> oh, belt up, Jan. It's a waste of flaming good money, that. Oh, aye. And I suppose all that money you spent on ale, that's been some sort of investment, has it? Look, I happen to think these driving lessons are worth every penny. Apart from all else, they're doing wonders for my morale. Uh, what about mine, eh? That doesn't matter, eh? Oh, look. You can clean the car. I might even give you a lift in it now and again. But you're not getting your flaming hands on them keys. When do I get this ribbon for round my neck like the rest of the flaming pap poodles, eh? You think gone. You shatter my pride, turn me into a laughing stock, an empty shell of a man, and, and it's you that's gonna suffer. She has got something, though, hasn't she? Rita, I suppose it's what people call class. Well, if it's class, you want petal. Study me and no charge. I mean, if you're lucky enough to have the basics, like, it's just a matter of them little touches that add up to poise. Poise. That's the word I was after. Rita's got it in spades. Well, I give her a point or two. But she ain't no Meryl Streep, kiddiewinks. And I'll tell you something. If the fella I fancied was where Alan Bradley is, just one little step across that landing, I'd give Meryl Streep a run for her money. Yeah, well, the trouble is I'm the shy type, aren't I? Here, count for these. Wear them, twirl with the band of oak, be a bit flash, lose a button or two. I would have thought it'd do any good. But you know what? I don't think that's what Alan's after. You what? After his display in here the other night? He's no plaster saint, is he? Mind you, I reckon that's what turns Rita on. A bit of the rough stuff, the men she picks. Look at that copper. Tony Cunliffe. He had a mean streak. Before my time, I think. Oh, it was fairly routine. I saw him first, Rita stepped in. I forgave her. Well, you have to, don't you? But on the quiet, she played dirty pool. Oh, there you are, you see. Class, poise, experience. It's first division stuff, isn't it? And what makes it worse, he never comes in the pub now. Well, he's not barred. But he's not on a red carpet job either. Blood and teeth all over the shop, and out for my decor. Time I was inspecting my troops. Fetch your cup, Petal. Turning up then? No, I'm only. Right, it's all fixed up. You know, Phil, in my roots on a petrol pump on the motorway, yeah. said he'll give us a lift in his back, maybe he'll reckon he can squeeze us in. Oh, well, yeah, I know him. I know, I know that, Phil. Well, if you're going somewhere, can we and Jane come here? We're talking about Sheffield, mate. We're talking about an all night of Kinker, yeah. UB4 yeah. to the Living Dead. Your man wasn't like that. Oh. <laughs> Does he live with his mouth? Well, maybe Mrs. Ogden won't like it either, eh? Oi, that's oh. enough from you, Sprog. Double like Hello, chips and whatever the lady wants. What do you want? Give us a tea. She's out back. We pin up your Can I go through? It's a bit best. It's that Australian do I right? That's all kind of now. Hey! Oh, hi, Mum. I thought you'd be busy. Well, I should be. I had two cancellations. I mean, and that's the passing train. You got dreadful. Oh! <laughs> Not all of us to spend a fortune on makeup, can we? What's happened? Nothing's happened. Ian went back. I waved him goodbye at the airport. Everything's normal. You went to the airport? Did I say that? Oh, no, I must have made a mistake. Actually, I saw the plane going overhead. I knew it was Ian's plane because it had Goodbye Gale written down the side. Goodbye Gale. Thanks, but no thanks. I guess I'll have egg and chips twice. So, Julian, a knees up. Now, that's what yeah, I'm after, okay. yeah? A bit of piccini. Don't be stupid, Gloria. No, a knees up. All right. Oi, Peter, how about some ale? Look, I'm changing barrels. What about that lot? If you want to watch yourself, you know, there's still three million people unemployed out there. And apart from that, my mum is in a very funny mood. If you get your cards here, you'll be getting them at home and all. Who cares? I can always get a billet. You can clip a needle's wings, but you can't tame him. To be honest, she's not said a lot about the honeymoon. Julian, do you? Well, we've seen all the snaps, and she spent a fortune on presents. I know. Yes, I suppose the last of the big spenders gave you a colourful account. Ah, 
actually. His first words were, well, that's me well skint, let's start making it. So that sort of set the tone for the morning. Obviously, they both go ahead tight. I mean, Ken said Sue was equally as brisk. Came in like a bomb, straight down to business, files everywhere, high-pressure stuff on the blower, you know, all very glossy, very um, colour supplement. I'm not sure if I like it. You, um... You don't think it might have been a disaster? Jack, come on! All right. Oh, there she is. Oh, hello. Can I join hello. you? Hello, how are you? Well, it's happened. The rotten swine's deserted me. So I believe. For a rather stout gentleman called Cyril Worthington. Four thriving retail outlets and not too happy with his supplier. What we call in the trade a three-cigar job. <laughs> anyway, I must order. Can I get you around or what? Hey, hey. Hey, you with the suntan. I hope you've boned up on them West Indian calypsos. I've got a steel band, but well, Julian and the Joanna at least. Well, all this pop on the flipping blink again. waves off and all. Oh, it'll be that fuse in the cellar. Oh, go and fix it then, mastermind. Well, it takes all the lights out and all, doesn't it? So? Well, it's dark. I could break my leg. Get the torch, stupid! Oh, if Jack doesn't fancy it, I'll have a crack. Hey, you know, you give all that skill work. He's right, you know, ladies. I mean, if he gets it wrong, the pumps could go backwards. Beer will finish up at brewery. <laughs> oh, well, that's it then. I mean, if it takes danger, man. Excuse Makes me, me wonder what I pay you oh. for. Sorry, folks, the ale's off. All right, all right, I'll get, get that. Where are you going? going? So, worry not, booze artists. Come at the hour, come at the man with the power and the knowledge. Super sparkle, soon have the ale flowing. <laughs> What's the world coming to? Can he not fetch a young lady for a quiet lunchtime drink without finding chaos? Just a minute, Mr. Sugden. Don't give folk the wrong idea. I came in here to meet Emily. You just attached yourself. Right, get pulling the ale. Oh, well you never time. fixed it. They don't call me lightning, Jack. Find out right, get bended the elbow, better look. I am doing it, there's no joy. There's no ale either. Well, give it a chance to clear the air. Hooray! Right, she comes! Hey. He's got some use. I reckon that he keeps his pub going. <laughs> Good on you, Duck Egg. You're back on me honours list. <laughs> the eagle has landed, eh? But his mother wasn't here to see it. <laughs> here, Cock. I'll try two penneth of this. Usual tripe, I reckon, but it gets me off to bye byes. How's your writing, anyway? Oh, well, I packed it in, really. Oh, I did say writing, you know. Oh, no, you said right. Have you, uh, not packed other in, then? The other? Sorry, I'm not with you. Oh, well, seeing you were so amused, perhaps you can enlighten me. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's not very much on my mind at the moment. You're recharging a battery. Oh. oh. I mean, when the only offer you get is Percy sugged and pestered you to go to a dance at the over 60s, for heaven's sake. Well, if it's offers you're after, you should have tapped Jacko up this dinner. Look, rampant Moody would have had to fix in them pumps. Nobody was safe. Just thought that Jack Duckworth's favours were more than spoken for. If he hear his birthday, will he? Somebody should warn her. <laughs> what? Is it? Well, if it isn't little Sir Galahad. Not wearing the knuckle dusters tonight? Try. Bye. Bye. Did, uh, did Jenny check in for the evening papers? Yes, why? Uh, I thought she might have given them a miss. You know, when girls start getting lad mad, oh, they start on. doing... Stop worrying. I can't see her running off with him. Well, I can, only too clearly. You haven't changed your mind about tonight, then? You're still doing your ironing? Mm-hmm. Listen, uh, what is the position with Ben? I mean, do you think I'd be welcome down at the Rovers? Who knows? She plays a card very close to Lynch. Right, we're off now, Mrs. Serpin. Okay, my love. Come on, let's go all kinds on our trail. Okay, oh, hello, are you still here? I thought you'd be halfway to Sheffield by now. We're uh, just waiting for our lift. Who was on this all night pop do? Only there's a pretty looking fella out there with a zingy Morris Minor. Oh, that's us. Oh, try Mrs. Ogden, we'll be back with the milk. I imagine you'll be waiting up for us. Oh, I'm sure that won't be necessary. At least Kevin knows right from wrong. Well, Mrs. Ogden, what we want to do is our own thing. Come on, Kevin, let's grab the back seat for them. Hello, 
Oh, she's a little madam. Never washes a pot, you know. Oh, she's a cavorting little article. Still, like I was saying, they don't seem bad kids. <sighs> Pom's all right, Betty. Oh, I keep your fingers crossed. Her Majesty phoned the brewery. You know, played merry hell with them. And all they said was, we'll make a note of it. Oh, well, as long as we've got our resident genius. Jack, I don't think we'll see much of him tonight. I copped him on the phone talking to somebody called Dulce. He's a lad, isn't he? Mm. Nothing stops him for long. Well, Vera's going to have to watch it. I mean, the mood he's in. He won't think twice about packing his bags. <laughs> It's all down to cheek, isn't it? How do you mean, love? Well, look at me. I just can't push myself, can I? The more I like somebody, the shyer I get with them. Is it Alan Bradley? <sighs> Beth's just said she saw him in the cabin chatting Rita up. I saw him there this morning. It's like he can't keep away. What makes it worse? Since that stupid punch-up, he's not welcome here. You'd make him welcome, wouldn't you? Are you kidding? Does he know? Of course he does. Well, there you are, then. I mean, if he does pop in here, he won't be in here just for the beer, will he? <laughs> ah, the newlyweds. What'll you have, old creatures of bronze? I do have minions, but as you can see, they're too busy talking. <laughs> I'll have a scotch in the rocks and... Uh... A rum punch, please. <laughs> no, only kidding, Alpha Lager. By heck, I was just going to say, if this carries on, first born will be a fast bowler. <laughs> So how did your day go? Oh, not bad. I've been busy, to say the least. Well, the cool is a happy hour. Present company, I can understand why. Forgotten where you live or something. I told you I'd be a bit late when you phoned. That was almost an hour ago. I phoned again not ten minutes since. Nobody answered. Big deal. Send out search parties. I've left Nicky at me mum's. He wants his tea. Well, you'll be getting it, won't he? Does that mean you're coming back with us then? Don't talk to Well, I'm beginning to wonder, Gail, the way you've been acting lately. And don't think I'll come chasing a second time. Suit yourself. What does that mean? It means I can do without threats. Threats? Now do me a favour. I've been the soul of patience. Oh, yeah. You're a real brick. Hey. Listen. I like the idea of Australia. I was keen. OK. It may not have suited you, but I'd have settled. If you think so. It's not been begetted, Gail. Even Ian said so. Ian said what? Ian said that I was the type. But you, you weren't. I don't believe that. It's gospel. I swear. But what difference does it make? We're not going. Australia, Ian, it's all history. How could he say that? It was just a remark. A remark, was it? Oh, I get the drift. Did it go uh, somewhat like this? Uh, you and him, uh, golden boys, fit for the sun and sand, where I'm more the clogs and shawl type, scuttling around in me curlers and wellies. It's a pity you lumbered with me, isn't it? You and him have made a great team. <sighs> you should have taken him to Edinburgh with you. You, him, and Mark Playboy Siddle. Shopping around for your rotten sports cars and whatever else there might be in the window. So that's it. Edinburgh. You're gonna have to believe me, Gail. Nothing happened up there. I don't know how I can prove it, but nothing happened. If it had, do you think it would be worth all this misery? Gail, love. I wish I had it taken, Ian. Maybe you'd have believed him. Oh, Brian. Brian, I'm sorry. You're right. Nothing happened. Let's go on.
Julian, don't look about. Evening, Rocky. Evening. Nobody you want to use as a punch bag in here tonight, is there? No. Not unless somebody wants to use me as one. Serve the mango. Thanks, Pat. <coughs> Julian, come on. This you are the county, better than all your can music. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Like you win it war. Western Desert, Vera Lynn. I suppose I remind you, Vera Lynn. Actually, when I see you, I see Churchill. Prime Minister? No, Churchill Tank. Oh. Somebody put a penny in slot. Oh, no, please, that pig in bill again. Where's me salamander? Oh, come on, Can Dad. Can I appeal like for Tom? Like Everybody stay where they're standing. Don't move. This is a police raid. Dad, oh, I'll be Tim Glow. Shoot for the whites of her eyes. How clever. When the nights go on again. Everybody in and in the blackout. What he did this afternoon is nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> Big hand, lads and lasses, for the man with the golden. Hey! Wait for it. Screwdriver! Hey! Oh, 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 now behave! <laughs> Oi, is this good rotten every time we pull a pint? Oh, no. <laughs> it's it, Jules, baby. <laughs> Again. Don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet your supper's again on some table. sunny day. Have you seen out your dad? Yeah, he's round the front, vandalising your car. Oh, come off it. I mean, you've been in Rovers. Has it scarved off? Scarved off? Scarved off? He's only the man of the moment, isn't he? Saved the ale supply this dinner, now he's gone and done his stuff with the lights. How do you mean? Well, he went out, didn't he? Every last bulb. But the old fellow was there with his technical wizardry. He had to feel proud. By the left, hey? I wish I'd have seen that. Yeah, it did great, me dad. Did us all credit. Especially after Mad Allen digging me and me making a prat of myself. Um, he is coming home tonight, then, is he, your dad? Well, I couldn't say, could I? I mean, he's not had uh, much of a welcome here recently, has he? Ah, well, if he does decide to honour us, tell him to do his burping down here. Keep his teeth in. And you never know. He might just get lucky. Here. 
Aren't you taking your handbag with your precious car keys? Oh, yeah. Hey, I better add on to... Right, love. Night, love. Night. Yeah, what's the panic? Where were you at tea time? Oh, I think she'd forgotten all about that. Anyway, how's the Rovers? The roof's not falling in, has it? Well, if it had, I don't know how to fix it. My mum was dead impressed. You've been building me up here. Listen, you catch her before she drops off, and I reckon that you could have them car keys by tomorrow. Hey, am I getting you right? I mean, I've had a very full day, you know. Good night, Papa. Ball on my feet. Open goal. Not a kick left. No, Petal. Stick with Joe from the shipyard. Squire will just have his wicked way with you. And you'll end up dog tired every night. And running a clapped out old boozer. Oh.